Good evening, students, parents, and honored guests. I'm Dr. Ionetti, and I'd like to welcome you to the 2021 Jupiter High School Senior Awards Ceremony. Seniors, you've had quite a year, but tonight I'm honored and privileged to be able to acknowledge you and your high school achievements. Tonight, we will be recognizing the students who have excelled academically, overcome adversity, and made immense contributions to our school and community. The faculty and staff at Jupiter High pride themselves in providing all students with a rigorous curriculum and an environment that promotes independence, a strong workout, work ethic, and healthy competition. This, combined with a variety of extracurricular clubs, leadership opportunities, and athletics have contributed to each graduate's educational experience. Our goal was to provide every student with a well-rounded education so they can achieve greatness and be prepared for their futures. However, it is the never-ending support of parents and family members who have helped guide these graduates. You've encouraged them, wiped their tears away, gave them a nudge or a little push, which has helped which has kept them all on their paths. For this, parents, I congratulate you tonight and thank you for everything that you have done to help your child get here tonight. Seniors, this is the first of many amazing nights you're going to have. Stay true to yourself and follow your dreams. Congratulations. Good evening, good afternoon, good morning, whatever greeting is appropriate to whatever time it is that you're watching this video. All I know is it is my pleasure and great honor to welcome you to this awards presentation as one of the two sponsors of the class of 2021 uh, that it's been a I've really literally watched many of you grow up from infancy to young men and women who are getting ready to leave us and move on into the great wide beyond Jupiter and um, just now we're going to take some time to celebrate your achievements and wish you luck as you continue your journey. Our first thing is uh, of great importance. We're going to start with a bang right away, and it is the certificate appointment to West Point Academy. Those of you who may not know, uh, West Point graduates have served our country for over two centuries. They provided the nations with military leaders such as Generals Grant, Lee, Patton, Eisenhower, and MacArthur. Of the first 30 NASA astronauts, six were West Pointers, including Ed White, the first American to watch, walk in space, and Buzz Aldrin, the second man to walk on the moon. We have seen West West Pointers as presidents, members of Congress, business executives, and community leaders. West Point demands a particular kind of student, one who is extremely motivated, physically fit, possesses high academic acumen, and is interested in a military career. This year, over 15,000 highly qualified students from across the country competed for an appointment to West Point. With so many applicants and only 1,200 cadetships available, the admissions committee was highly selective. Jupiter High School is honored to have one of these successful applicants in its graduating class. For the aspiring candidate, West Point offers a fully paid four-year college scholarship, military training in the best army in the world, and leadership development by the premier institution of its kind in the world. At this time, it gives me great pleasure to award one of these prestigious scholarships to a deserving Jupiter High School student. On behalf of the President of the United States, I am pleased to award this appointment to the United States Military Academy at West Point, New York, to Cadet Maya Amersi. I would like now like to turn it over to Second Lieutenant Gold Bar Recruiter Isaiah Mosiah, who will present our next award. On behalf of Cadet Command, I'd like to congratulate Cadet Lieutenant Colonel Maya Amersi on earning a four-year Army ROTC scholarship. She has excelled in JRTC, holding the top leadership position in her battalion and participating in state qualifying teams. Outside of ROTC, she's on the swim team and she's in the top 30% of her class. Welcome to the Army team. I am very proud to highlight Alexander Stromthal, 
who has accepted an appointment to the United States Air Force Academy. Alexander will report to the United States Air Force Academy in Colorado Springs on June 24th. The Air Force Academy is ranked as a top 10 school in the country and as such is highly selective with only about 1,200 candidates selected from the entire country. The process required a congressional nomination of which Alexander received two. One from Congressman Brian Mast and one from Senator Rick Scott, where he competed against students from the entire state of Florida. While in high school, Alexander has excelled academically through his own determination and efforts, along with the support of his teachers. He had at Jupiter Farms Elementary, Duncan Middle School, and Jupiter High School, for which he is grateful. In addition to his academic success, Alexander was on the varsity swim team, captain of the water polo team, and Alexander plans to fly jet fighters and eventually enter the space program. An academy education is valued at more than $416,000. However, cadets receive this education at no cost. All that is required in return is their commitment to serve in the air and space forces. With a history of excellence and a focus on the future, the United States Air Force Academy instills cadets with pride and integrity while preparing them to serve their country and succeed in 21st century careers and leads the way into an increasingly complex future, driving advancement and innovation in air, space, and cyberspace, among countless other fields. The Air Force Academy is not just a premier higher education establishment. It is an unparalleled academic and military inst institution that provides young men and women with rewarding opportunities to transform them into the leaders of tomorrow. On behalf of Jupiter High School, we would like to thank Alexander for choosing to serve our country and for his diligence in pursuing this honor. Congratulations, Alexander, on your appointment to the United States Air Force Academy. Thank you, Dr. Ionetti. The United States Merchant Marine Academy is a federal service academy that educates and graduates leaders of exemplary character who are committed to serve the national security, marine transportation, and economic needs of the United States as licensed merchant marine officers and commissioned officers in the armed forces. With 95% of the world's products transported over water, these leaders are vital to the effective operation of our merchant fleet for both commercial and military transport in peace and war. Known for its rigorous academic program, the United States Merchant Marine Academy requires more credit hours for a bachelor degree than any other federal service academy. This challenging coursework is augmented by the Academy's sea year experience, which affords midshipmen the opportunity to acquire hands-on, real-world experiences aboard working commercial or military vessels sailing to ports around the world. Midshipmen in the Merchant Marines who master this demanding curriculum earn a unique combination of credentials which include a highly regarded Bachelor of Science degree valued at over $200,000, a U.S. Coast Guard license, an officer's commission in the U.S. Armed Forces, and the nation's economic and national security needs are met by these U.S. Merchant Marines, which is compelling. But the most important element in a productive merchant fleet and a strong transportation industry is people men and women who can lead with integrity, honor, intelligence, dedication, and competence. We are proud of Jupiter High School Warriors Vasilis Kaplanidis, who exemplifies leadership, patriotism, and desire to serve our country.
Vasilis will be joining the ranks of the U.S. Merchant Marine Academy. Congratulations. I would like now to turn it over to Ms. Rosen Caparelli, who will present our next scholarship. The Stand Up Stand Out Scholarship is awarded to Jupiter High School seniors who have demonstrated determination, perseverance, and self-advocacy to overcome challenges both academically and personally. The Stand Up Stand Out Scholarship proudly presents this award to two Jupiter High School students. Darcy Ganelli in the amount of $600 and Carlos Torres Pinto in the amount of $500. Good job, guys. Congratulations to both of you for this honor. And now, with great pleasure, I'll turn it over to Ms. Jean Marie McCann, retired Jupiter High School social studies teacher and SGA legendary advisor, who will present our next award. The J. McCann Leadership Legacy Scholarship honors an exemplary student in the Leadership Skills Development Program and Jupiter High School Student Government Association. This award recognizes a senior who has excelled academically and is considered a leader on campus and in the community. First, I want to take a moment to thank all of you who applied for this scholarship. You all should be very proud of your accomplishments during your years in the Leadership Skills Development Program. This year's winner of the J. McCann Le Leadership Legacy Scholarship truly exemplified the skills and traits of a gifted young leader she has held numerous leadership positions throughout her four years in the class. Despite the unprecedented challenges over the past year and a half, this young lady adapted, innovated, and successfully led her classmates, as well as her peers on campus. It is with great pride that I recognize the recipient of the 2021 J. McCann Leadership Scholarship, Madeline Shands. Congratulations to our winning student leader and best of luck to her in her future leadership endeavors. And now it's time to turn it over to Mrs. Kathy Lang, who will present our next award. This scholarship is in memory of Scott Gehring. Scott died in a tragic car accident leaving the Top Den Awards dinner to attend the Senior Awards Night. Scott was an incredible young man with an infectious laugh and a smile that would light up a room. Scott was number three in his graduating class, an accomplished athlete and a loyal friend. In his memory, Scott's parents organized a foundation for this scholarship to be given each year to treasure the memory of their son through the students here at Jupiter High School. This scholarship is awarded to a student who exemplifies Scott's love of life, his spirit, and his unrelenting drive to succeed. This evening, I have the honor of awarding this scholarship to an exceptional individual who truly reminds me of Scott. Like Scott, this individual shows such persistence and initiative on and off the court and has the biggest heart. This individual is a remarkable young lady she has over 600 community service hours and has an HPA of 4.9. She will be attending Florida State University in the fall to study elementary education. I know in my heart that Scott would be proud of my decision and is smiling down on me because he would agree that I made the right choice. It is my honor to award this scholarship in the amount of $5,000 to Rebecca Steidel. Congratulations, Re Rebecca. We would like to congratulate Ashley McCallum, who will receive the Rhett Davis Memorial Scholarship. Rhett was a Jupiter High School graduate who died from meningitis while a student at UCF. His family has dedicated themselves to spreading awareness of the necessity of meningitis shots prior to the beginning of college. We are honored to present Ashley with a scholarship for $3,700, and, and we are proud that she will carry on in Rhett's name. Congratulations, Ashley. 
Coach Helena Jefferson and Coach Erica Sanders are pleased to announce the Jupiter High School Cross Country 2020 SNAP Scholarship. They would like to recognize the following seniors for all of their hard work and dedication to Jupiter High School Cross Country. These students are stellar runners and also true role models as well as exemplary team leaders. The following recipients will each receive a $200 scholarship. Rachel Buck, Sydney Buck, Ethan Lancey, Jillian McVeigh, and Carlin Russell. Good luck, senior cross country runners. And now I'd like to turn it over to Mr. Scott Siliento of the Jupiter High School Horticulture Program, who will present our next award. The Leonard Glenn Negri Horticulture Scholarship was created by Deborah Negri in memory of her late husband. Leonard, who was first exposed to horticulture during his high school years in Flushing, New York, where he was in the Horticulture Academy. He carried this passion throughout his entire life, in business, at home, and most recently, as part of his pain relief and healing from cancer treatments. Leonard lost his battle with cancer on January 3rd of this year. He spent 10 to 12 hours a day in his garden during the last year of his life. Now, Miss Negri, has a garden to enjoy as a tribute to Leonard. Leonard was especially intrigued with the science behind all plant life. He was indeed a plant geek. He loved to share his knowledge of the many varieties of plants. This is why a scholarship in Leonard's name is the perfect way to honor him and to provide the same opportunities to a new generation. Had Leonard not had the opportunity to be in the Horticulture Academy in New York, he would not have enjoyed the many years of caring for his plants, being in the business, and finding comfort in his last year of life. Please join us in congratulation, congratulating Elijah Heredia, the inaugural year recipient for $1,000 in honor of the Leonard Glenn Negri Horticulture Scholarship. Congratulations, Elijah. Rotary is an international organization dedicated to developing community support. We hold a number of fundraisers yearly that benefit local schools, nonprofits, food pantries, and scholarships. We would ask you to encourage parents, friends, and you to support our goals. All funds raised by our organization stay within our community and are used to improve the well-being and education of all residents. This year, we had the pleasure to review several applications which demonstrated tremendous success. We would like to thank those two individuals for the effort made and welcome them to an exciting new adventure. We are confident you will be successful in all of your new endeavors. The Jupiter Tequesta Rotary would like to congratulate Megan McCulley and Valeria Urego Hernandez, who will each receive $1,500 scholarships. The Palm Beach County Gator Club is an official affiliate of the University of Florida Alumni Association, which was created to support the University of Florida's mission of teaching, research, and service by fostering and enhancing the relationship between the University of Florida and its alumni, students, and friends. With the funds raised from alumni memberships, the UFAA offers student scholarships, recognizes distinguished alumni professors and distinguished alumni, and organizes class reunions, among other things. The Palm Beach County Gator Club continues to provide scholarships to the best and brightest students in Palm Beach County. We are very proud to award a $2,000 scholarship to Leah McCartney. The Jupiter Farms Residents Civic Organization Scholarship is made possible by the contributions of our residents, business sponsors, and fundraisers, and is given to outstanding Jupiter Farms graduating seniors with a strong emphasis on dedication to Jupiter Farms residents and the community. The following students have been awarded the Jupiter Farms Resident Scholarship. Grace Awasana will be awarded $1,500. Hannah Boutte will be awarded $1,000. Carly Johnson will be awarded $750, and Mia Delaney will be awarded $750. Congratulations, Grace, Hannah, Carly, and Mia. The Women's Chamber of Commerce of Palm Beach County was formed in April 1994 by a handful of businesswomen who envisioned building the chamber into the leading business organization for women in Palm Beach County. 
Over the years, the organization has grown into a strong membership force, representing a diversified group of women and men from small business and the public and private sectors. From the beginning, the Women's Chamber of Commerce of Palm Beach County has made an impact on our community. It continues this tradition after more than 20 years. We are a unique organization focusing on activities and issues of broad appeal from business networking to personal and professional development. Through our foundation, the Women's Chamber promotes higher education through the provision of scholarships to help selected applicants attend the colleges and universities of their choice. The Women's Chamber Foundation is the educational and development force of the Chamber whose highest priority is raising funds to support its scholarship program. The Foundation serves its members and community by providing mentoring, leadership, and educational opportunities. The mission of the Women's Chamber Foundation underscores the critical importance of supporting women in our community by opening the doors to economic opportunity through advanced education. The Women's Chamber Foundation is a 501c3 organization and is registered in the state of Florida. The Women's Chamber Foundation is the educational arm of the Women's Chamber of Commerce of Palm Beach County, and we are proud to present a $1,200 community scholarship to Jupiter Community High School warrior, Valeria Urego Hernandez. Congratulations, Valeria. The Jupiter Medical Center ACE, the Advisory Committee of Excellence Scholarship Award, was created to benefit a JMC team member who has a child graduating and planning to attend college. The recipient has to have an unweighted GPA of 3.2, taken the ACT and or the SAT, accepted by a two or four year college, university or technical school. They must have met their school graduation requirements and must have a minimum of 100 community service hours and of course, parent or legal guardian that is currently employed as a full time with a minimum of one continuous year of service at Jupiter Medical Center. The Jupiter Medical Center Advisory Committee of Excellence has chosen Veronica Edwards and Kate Nichols to receive this year's scholarship of $1,000 each. Way to go, Veronica and Kate. Congratulations. The Community Foundation for Palm Beach and Martin Counties awards more than $1 million in scholarships each year for high school seniors, college students, and non-traditional students. The Community Foundation has more than 100 scholarship funds established by donors committed to furthering education for the residents of Palm Beach and Martin Counties. Many of our scholarships are established in memory of loved ones or dedicated to specific areas significant to the donor. Please join us in congratulating this year's recipients. Madeline Shands, who was awarded $3,300 through the Don Dahlberg Memorial Scholarship Fund. Lisa Bjork Memorial Scholarship, and the Danny Knitchell Memorial Scholarship Fund. Sydney Trivison, who was awarded $1,500 through the Matthew James Auden Memorial Scholarship Fund and the Bradley Collins Memorial Scholarship Funds. I would now like to turn it over to Karima Zarelli of the Pearl May Foundation, who will present our next award. Hi everyone, my name's Karima and I'm representing the Pearl May Foundation. The Pearl May Foundation is a local nonprofit charity that invests in the education of our future nurses, doctors, and first responders. This way, they'll serve our increasing senior population with their health care needs. Our winner this year was based on their academic achievements, community involvement, passion for health care, and displaying characteristics of the Pearl May philosophy. Please join us in recognizing Ashley McCullum as this year's recipient. Congratulations, Ashley. Congratulations, Ashley. The Order of the Sons and Daughters of Italy, Perry Como Lodge in Tequesta, is a nonprofit organization established to provide donations to charitable organizations and scholarships to deserving high school seniors while celebrating our Italian heritage. The scholarship applications are designed to identify outstanding academic achievements, community service, and highlight the family values which have shaped these young American Italian students into the fine women and men they are today. This year, the Perry Como Lodge awarded a $500 scholarship and the state chapter awarded a $1,000 scholarship to the following Jupiter High School student who best exemplified those qualities. The scholarship recipient for 2021 goes to Francesco Beltrano. Congratulations, Francesco. Congratulations to senior Ethan Gallo, winner of a $1,000 scholarship from Cuore d'Italia chapter of Sons of Italy. Cuore d'Italia reaches out to local high schools in our community to award $1,000 scholarships to two deserving, hardworking students of Italian descent. 
In addition to having excellent grades, the students contribute to their school and communities. Each recipient receives a certificate of achievement, the Dante Alighieri Medal, $1,000 towards their tuition, a special plaque, I Have a Dream, designed by Sister Maria Mazzarella, and a Visa Gold gift card by the Floridian Community Bank of Juno Beach. Congratulations, Ethan. And now I'd like to turn it over to Jupiter High School Criminal Justice Academy Professor, Officer Richard Long, who will present our next award. The Town of Jupiter and the Jupiter Police Department have donated funds to provide scholarships to the top students who have completed all four years of the Criminal Justice Academy. These scholarships aim to foster leadership, integrity, and excellence among the students by assisting in making each individual career ready, citizen ready, and community worthy. The following two students from the 2021 Jupiter Community High School Criminal Justice Academy will each be receiving scholarships in the amount of $1,500. Joshua Reichman and Sheila Ramos. Congratulations, 2021 Criminal Justice Academy graduates. The third annual Jupiter High School National Technical Honor Society scholarships in the amount of $500 is being awarded to three deserving members for their academic achievement and dedication to excellence and demonstration of the seven character attributes of National Technical Honor Society. Skill, honesty, service, responsibility, scholarship, citizenship, and leadership. Please join us in congratulating NTHS scholarship recipients, Carly Johnson, Amanda Berrios, both for $200, and the NTHS top fundraiser recipient, Ms. Ashley McCallum, for a $100 scholarship. I would now like to turn it over to Mr. Samuel Rahman, who will present our next award. Now awarding the Samuel Rahman Leaders of Tomorrow Society third annual scholarship in the amount of $1,000, which goes to Dustin Laplatz who was part of LTS for four consecutive years, starting out as a treasurer, then vice president, then president, and lastly becoming a mentor of LTS. He has fundraised a total of $3,212, earning 162 community service hours. Congratulations, Dustin. Your dedication to excellence in both leadership and academic achievements. It has helped you strengthen your leadership experience, sales and the demonstration of the seven habits of highly effective teams. I am convinced that you will have a successful career and impact many lives along the way. I wish you all the best and stay safe. Thanks, Sam. Simon Baker, number 10, was an honor student, an athlete, an artist, a humanitarian, and an amazing friend. Simon was caring and would put others first and took pride in being a student athlete. Teammates and friends did not understand the struggles he was going through, and while they wish Simon would have talked to someone about it, they understand it's not easy to see the signs. Simon was passionate about helping others, and this is why ACES, Athletics, Community, and Education, Jupiter, have dedicated this initiative to number 10, Simon Baker. Simon Baker's legacy of helping others and selflessness will live on through many lives that will be impacted by the work of his friends, teammates, and family. Please listen to the ACES committee who highlighted this year's award recipients. Hi, I'm Chrissy Webb, the Executive Director of Student ACES. Hi, and I'm Buck Martinez. And we're here today to um, recognize three Jupiter High School students um, and we're presenting them with the Simon Baker Scholarship. Those three students are Ethan Gallo, Hannah Johnson, and Laura Lavernia. We are so proud of these students who are working so hard and dedicated to eliminating mental illness stigma while remembering Simon's contagious smile, fun-loving spirit, and kindness. We're so proud of the students at Jupiter High School for setting up the Student Aces of Club at Jupiter High School. They've had a tremendous success, and we just wanted to say we're so proud of you. Congratulations. Simon Baker was an amazing man. He stood for everything that Student Aces is about. It's about honor, character, and integrity. And we're excited for what Ethan, Hannah, and Lauren would be able to do as far as their legacy in this world. Thank you guys very much. Without further ado, please join me in congratulating the winners of the Simon Lee Baker Scholarship. 
Ethan Gallo, $1,000. Hannah Johnson, $1,000. Lauren Lavernia, $500. I would now like to turn it over to Principal Dr. Colleen Ionetti, who will present our next award. As part of Palm Beach State College's commitment to honor the academic achievement of local scholars, Palm Beach State College proudly partners with area high school principals to select one graduating senior to receive the Principal's Choice Award. This scholarship is a two-year award worth $4,000 per academic year and is awarded for the fall and spring semesters beginning with August 2021. The scholarship will be renewed for a second year of enrollment in an associate degree program, plus an additional two years if he or she enrolls in one of Palm Beach State's bachelor programs and meets all the scholarship renewal criteria. The Principal's Choice Award is an addition to any other grant or scholarship this student may receive including the Bright Future Scholarship. This year, the Principal's Choice Award goes to Jose Calenzas Reyes. Congratulations, Jose. The Palm Beach County Human Rights Council Charitable Foundation has selected Jupiter High School senior Sofia Sol Lima to receive the 2021 Daniel S. Hall Social Justice Awards. The awards are presented annually to college-bound graduating seniors who have demonstrated an interest in advocacy on behalf of the LGBTQ community. Sophia will receive a $2,500 scholarship. The Palm Beach County Human Rights Council is Florida's oldest independent, nonpartisan political organization dedicated to any discrimination based on sexual orientation and gender identity or expression. The organization established the Palm Beach County Human Rights Council Charitable Foundation to fund educational scholarships and other charitable endeavors. We would like to we'd like to congratulate Sofia Sol Lima on being honored as the recipient of this year's Daniel S. Hall Social Justice Award. Don Plummer was an active member of Ocean View United Methodist Church who believed anyone who wanted to go on to higher education should have the opportunity, so he left an endowment to Ocean View for this purpose. Ocean View is privileged to give several scholarships each year. This year, Ocean View United Methodist Don Plummer Scholarship goes to Jason Williams. Jason will be receiving a scholarship in the amount of $2,000. Way to go, Jason. The Harriet Glasner Social Justice Scholarship Committee, a team of four members of the First Unitarian Universalist Congregation, administers and selects a scholarship recipient for the Harriet Glasner Justice Scholarship Fund. In evaluating the applications, the following four questions are considered. Does the student's volunteer work demonstrate a commitment to the community, social justice? Are the student's career goals focused on making a positive difference in their world, career goals? What are the student's existing challenges or challenges they've overcome to achieve their current success? Dedication. And what are the student's earned certifications or interest-related achievements? Motivation. In reviewing applicants like Gabriella Hare, it is obvious that she reflects the level of dedication and motivation necessary for a successful college experience. Toward that success, the Harriet Glasner Justice Scholarship Fund policy includes continuing scholarship renewal annually to the extent that the student has remained on track, has a continuing financial need, and our funds are available. We are honored to have the HGSJ Scholarship Award go to Gabriella and recognize her with a scholarship award in the amount of $1,000. Congratulations to Gabriella Hare. 
The Leo Fiordalino Memorial Scholarship Foundation was created in memory of Valerie's amazing dad, Leo, who passed away 12 years ago after a battle with non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. There are two scholarships created in his memory, and this year, each is worth $1,500. The first scholarship is the Memorial Music Scholarship, which recognizes a student with outstanding musical talent and a passion to create a positive influence. This student has faced exceptional challenges in life, but with courage, hope, and perseverance, he has prevailed over his challenges and has excelled in school, music, and community. He's a leader in the classroom and among his fellow musicians and scouts and is an inspiration to many. He will be attending University of South Florida this summer. The winner of this year's $1,500 Leo Fiorellino Memorial Scholarship is Connor Lane. The second scholarship is given to a student who has endured any hardship in health, whether personally or within his or her family. This year we had many inspiring applicants making the decision for a winner a truly difficult task. The inspiring young man who we selected has faced adversity in his life and yet has given back to the community with his volunteer work and is preparing for a career in nursing to help others. I am proud to announce the winner of a $1,500 Leo Fiordalino Memorial Scholarship is Luis Diaz Montejo. Congratulations to Lewis and Collar, Connor, and thank you to the Leo Fiordalino Memorial Scholarship for their continued support of our Jupiter Warrior seniors. Ladies and gentlemen, that is the conclusion of our scholarship program. And if you want to applaud in your own house, by all means do so. We celebrate them here all the time. We couldn't be prouder to associate myself with such fine young men and women and so many members of the community, warriors, past and present who are who are still remain a vital part of our one tribe and it's just like I said a real pleasure and a distinct honor to be able to help out in some way I would like now to turn it over to Dr. Ionetti who will begin the second part of our evening the academic recognitions We will now recognize the top 20 seniors of the class of 2021. The top 20 designations are determined by the highest honor point average based on high school grades earned in middle school and high school through the first semester of the senior year. The valedictorian and salutatorian awards are determined by the highest honor point average of grades earned in the ninth through the first semester of the senior year, excluding middle school grades. Number 20, Olivia Delaney. 19, Mia Baltron. Number 18, Megan Gustafson. Number 17, Carl Pedrique. Number 16, Hannah Dickinson. Number 15, Mario Rivera. Number 14, Alexander Stromthal. Number 13, Ingrid Diaz. Number 12, Claire Persinger. Number 11, Alexis Lynch. And now for our top 10 warriors for 2021. Number 10, Carlin Russell. Number nine, Jose Salix. Number eight, Haley Fichetti. Number seven, Julia Ingram. Number six, Ethan Lancy. Number five, Mia Delaney. Number four, Valeria Urago Hernandez. Number three, Lindsay Kushner. Number two, Troy Simon. And our number one and valedictorian, Dustin LaPlatte. The salutatorian for the class of 2021 is Lindsay Kushner. Lindsay is the daughter of Andrew and Stacy Kushner. Lindsay is an exceptional young woman who demonstrates excellent in all areas. She is the salutatorian for the class of 2021, earning a Valsal GPA of 5.6354. She has been an AP scholar with distinction since 11th grade 
an ACE diploma recipient with merit since 10th grade and has logged more than 100 community service hours during her high school career. Lindsay has completed 13 AP courses, seven ACE courses, and five dual enrollment courses for a total of 25 college level courses during her high school career. During her senior year, she held the position of secretary of the National Art Society. Lindsay has a 3.9828 GPA and a 5.40 HPA. In her free time, Lindsay enjoys playing flag football and has been a member of the varsity flag football team for two years. In the fall, she will be attending college at the University of Florida in the Freshman Honors Program. She plans to major in telecommunications and ultimately work in film and television production. The valedictorian for the class of 2021 is Dustin LaPat. Dustin LaPlatte is the son of Brenda LaPat and David LaPlatt and the brother of Ashley. Dustin is an exceptional young man who demonstrates excellence in all area. He has received the ACE diploma at the distinction level during his sophomore year and is an AP scholar. Throughout his high school year, he has served both as the president of Leaders of Tomorrow Society and as executive vice president of his class. Dustin has logged over 200 community service hours and is an avid artist. He will be attending college at the University of Florida starting this summer. He plans to major in biology and is currently looking into a career prospects in veterinary medicine. Congratulations, Top 20 Seniors 2021. I will now present the 2021 Principal's Perseverance Award. The dictionary defines perseverance as continued effort, persistence, or steadfastness to achieve something to the end despite difficulties, failure, personal loss, obstacles, or discouragement. The following students are recognized for their perseverance to the end. Congratulations on your success and your determination. Kai Tran, Madison Charles, Robin Ramirez, Magdalena Andres Martin. Mrs. Erica Muncy, yearbook sponsor and Pathfinders coordinator, will now recognize the 2021 Pathfinder nominees. The Palm Beach Post Pathfinder Awards honors the top seniors in 18 different academic and athletic categories. The Jupiter High nominees are truly exceptional and experts in their field. It is my true pleasure to recognize them here. For academic excellence, Lindsay Kushner. Art, Sophia DiLeonardo. Business, Veronica Edwards. Communications, Megan Palmieri. Community Involvement, Michaela Wigglesworth. Computer Engineering, Isabella Lancy. Drama, Carlin Serpone. Foreign Language, Jacob Roman. Forensics and Speech, Jackson Beecher. History, Political Science, Raquel Flaitas. Mathematics, Hannah Dickinson. Music instrumental, Gabriel Ortiz. Music vocal, Gabriella Hare. Reach for Excellence, Grace Awashina. Science, Ethan Lancy. Sports, Caleb Petrinchuk. And finally, Technical Vocational, Matlin Howell. Our senior officers, and when I say our, I mean Mrs. D. Leonardo and I, we, we were so, so happy to spend the last four years as your sponsors. Um, these four uh, and uh, these officers and others have worked very hard on behalf of their classmates. We appreciate their time and efforts tremendously.
we would like to recognize the class of 2021 senior class officers. Your president, Gabby Venanzi. Executive Vice President, Jacob Roman. The Vice President of Social Media, Sarah Faring. Vice President of Finance, L. Martin. Vice President of 